In this problem, we have a distributed loading and the distributed loading is given by the equation one third x squared. We are asked to determine the equivalent force and couple moment at point O. So point O is right here and I do need to give you what this distance is. This distance of this beam is three meters. So I do need to give you that. Now, I really like distributed loading problems because to simplify a distributed loading, it doesn't matter what the shape is, you use the same procedure. You need to figure out what the magnitude of your loading is. And the magnitude gives you an equivalent force that acts at some location. And the location is going to be the centroid. So the centroid of your loading. The magnitude is going to be the area of the loading. So it doesn't matter what the shape is. It could be a rectangle. It could be a triangle. It could be a semicircle. It could be a parabolic, a parabolic type of loading. And you do the same thing. Now, if you have simple shapes like rectangles, triangles, you might know what the magnitude or area of a rectangle is off the top of your head. I hope you do. And the centroid. So for a rectangle, the centroid of a rectangle is going to occur, if this is a length of B, it's going to occur of a distance of B over 2. Now, what if you have a shape that you don't know the centroid of? Well, there's two things you can do. First, you can go to a table and you can try to look it up at a table. So this is the shape that we have. It's a parabol parabolic spandrel and our X term, our, center, our centroid, is given by 3A times 4, where A is this entire distance right here. And our area or our magnitude is given by AB or AH divided by three. So we can use that to figure out the magnitude and the location. Alternatively, maybe you're at an exam. You don't have a table. Your professor didn't give you a table. You can use this equation. The magnitude is going to be equal to the integral over the entire length of the loading of whatever the loading is uh, dx. So in this case, x is going to be uh, in this direction over here. So I'm integrating this shape over x, and that gives me my magnitude. The location of x bar is going to be equal to the, well, we're, again, we're going to integrate over my entire length. Length is an x, and we're going to multiply x times my loading in x dx, and we're going to divide by my loading of wx dx. And I lost that x right there. But you can see that this right under here is really just my area. It's my magnitude. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do this problem in two ways. First, I'm going to compute it using... Uh, the equation, then I'm going to check it with the table. So let's start and let's look at what my magnitude is. So my magnitude is going to be equal to the integral. I'm going from zero to three. Now zero is over here and I need to do it in a different color, but zero is at that point right there. And I'm going to go to three, which is this point right here. That's what I'm integrating over. All right, so now I'm going to integrate this W. Oops, W is equal to one third x squared dx. Okay, that's not a hard integration, right? Uh, the two becomes a three. I divide my, I divide by a three. So this is going to be one ninth. It's going to be x cubed evaluated from zero to three. Now the zero, nothing's going to, the zero is nothing because uh, this term multiplied by a zero is just zero. So this is going to be equal to one ninth, three cubed, 
and I'll write the zero term out this time, one ninth, zero cubed, that just is zero. So one ninth times three cubed is 27 divided by nine. This is equal to three kilonewtons. Now let's check it with the table. My table says my magnitude, my area, is equal to AH divided by three. Okay, A is this entire length. My entire length is three. H is my height. My height, this is W, so my height goes from zero to three. And I divide by three. Okay, that gives me three kilonewtons. This now checks out. So that's how I can figure out what my magnitude is. If you can find and you are able to use a table, it is going to decrease some of the mathematics that you need to do. All right, let's look at finding the centroid. So let's look at the centroid. X bar is going to be equal to, all right, I'm going to go from over my length. So I go from zero to three X times, well, W is one third X squared, and I divide by, well, I already solved that. I solved that right here. So I know this answer. I know that this is just going to be three. So this is just going to be three. All right, let's combine my X's. So I'm going to integrate from zero to three of one third X cubed DX. And I forgot my DX right here. And... This is also divided by three. So this is gonna be equal to, all right, this is integral is one fourth X to the uh, one, three times four is 12, one twelfth X to the fourth. And that's going to be evaluated from zero to three. And that entire thing's gonna be divided by three. Again, the zero isn't gonna do anything. It's just gonna become zero. So this is gonna be one twelfth, three to the four divided by three. One twelfth, three to the four divided by three. And I get this is equal to 2.25. So that tells me my load, this magnitude, which is a magnitude of three kilonewtons, occurs 2.25 meters away from my zero, which is over here. Okay, let's verify this. So X prime, okay, I need to do three times A divided by four, three times A, divided by four. This is gonna be three times my length is three. A, or A is equal to three divided by four. This is equal to nine over four. Nine over four should give me 2.25. It does. So I was also able to check off this. All right, so now I was able to get my magnitude I was able to get my location, but the problem is asking me to determine an equivalent resulting force and couple moment at point O. So point O is over here. It's this fixed support. Let me draw the free body that I have with the new, uh, this new loading. So I know this loading right here is three kilonewtons. It acts 2.25. meters from zero. And so that means it's gonna act 0 0.75 meters from uh, point O. So I, this is the zero, I'll, write, I'll just write zero, and this is point O. If you remember how to get an equivalent force, we wanna figure out the equivalent force, which we need to look at my forces in the X. In this problem, there is no X. I just have thing. Uh, I just have forces in the Y. So then I need to sum my forces in the Y. 
and I need to sum my forces about the point that I want to find the equivalency. So that would be, oh, all right. So the forces in the Y are just going to be equal to minus three, three kilonewtons. That's the only force I have. The moment's about, oh, if I'm going counterclockwise is going to be three kilonewtons times what's that perpendicular distance 0 0.75 so that is going to get me 2.25 uh, kilonewton meters that means this system this distributed loading can be replaced with a force that acts downward at three kilonewtons and a moment that acts counterclockwise, that's 2.25 kilonewton meters.